So the rope went in one bunghole and around and out the other. Tied off to this tree, tied off to this tree. And hopefully she's in a bit of a straight line. yesterday afternoon and uh, erected the marquee and here is where it's gonna sit while well, I sand down the bottom plug these cracks and I'm gonna paint the hole and then once that's done we'll flip it paint the front top and then uh, should we put it back together hopefully so, happy days coming up the home straight The size of this damn crack. There's absolutely no wonder why uh, on our first two test drives she was taking water. I mean, it goes all from all the way there. There we're talking like yeah, 30 centimeter at least, one foot, third of a yard. <laughs> it's up close. Whatever's a rack has to come off. Wow. Oh, this is just too interesting not to show you guys. I'm gonna assume that this is original, you know, 40, 50 year old fiberglassing out of the factory. <clears throat> so this strike um, appears to be, okay. A tunnel of negative space. Well, I can't help myself, I have to do this. Some fucking nitwit has, has left all this space between this layer of fiberglass and this layer. And I can't help but think that that is one of the main reasons why this particular area has been water compromised. Ultimate delamination. I'm learning that these points that really take the brunt of, you know, when you're, you're pulling up on a beach or you're pulling pulling your boat onto a trailer, hopefully along the keel, the edge here, and then the edges of these, not this so much, this. That's the stuff that you know, really got to breathe in over the years. Crack number one. My glass coming in from the inside. So I've taken off a lot. The first bit of five glass cut out, and then on top of that, it's going to be the second one, slightly larger, and then on top of that, the third one. So you'll see. Aussie got well, no, now you got res on you. I think this is gonna be an ongoing theme of working in the garden here. Aussie bites. Of course this is below the waterline. So theoretically I should be doing my finest fiberglassing technique that I can muster. Tappy tap tap. Just the old tappy tap tap. As Andy would say. Perfect. No 
matter, we've already had nine days of rain. The two day sunny reprieve. We're back to rain again, but it doesn't matter. Does it? Because we're out there in Sammy's homemade Mark E boat studio. We put a layer of putty on top to rebuild the strike that I had to grind away to get to the crack. This is the stroke that was intact, and this one I had to shave back here, shave to about here. Um, so I made all this up with putty. How's, how's my form, eh? Fucking pleasant, isn't it? Alright, yeah. so I'm in here, in the hole, um, and I, while it's upside down, it's very hard to fiberglass a roof. But when uh, the boats turn upside down for these few days, now is the time to lay an extra um, sheet of glass for strength where the deck cap went on. Um, so it's a bit yucky in there. So I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit. Primer done. Sorry, Mr. Professional. The back is good. I know before I said we needed three of us to, to flip this boat, um, but the third party, he's, he's not answering his phone, so we're going to go to crack with just two of us. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 